Okay, this right here is another tool that you're going to need in your arsenal of tools. Right? It goes on your 4 inch grinder. And this right here is a Kutzel disc, right? It's a, you can find it with the Kutzel burrs, right? It goes on a 4, four inch, 4.5 four inch grinder. Uh, you can buy them in coarse, fine, medium. Okay, this right here I believe is even just a medium. It's not even super coarse. And what I use this for is it's not a, a sander per se, but you want to take bark off, like right here, I just threw a piece of uh, wood up here for a walking stick, walking stick type size, all right? And let me show you what it does. This is great for cleaning up, debarking. I do cottonwood spirits with it. I get the bark off with it. Let me show you how it works. doesn't take much okay so like I said that right there is another piece you're definitely gonna want in your wood carving tools you can find it at hardware stores you can uh, look it up online look up Kutzel they make other products that are very handy right we're gonna probably do a walking stick what I'll do is uh, take all the bark off with this and then you can take your chisels right to it and you never have to worry about getting the bark off again. It's also great for cleaning up when we do a big bog. We're going to use it for after we rough it out with a chainsaw. Then I would take this and smooth the whole thing down. Then you get your chisels and knives and other power tools. Uh, tools. Okay. So make sure you pick one up. I don't know. It depends on the size and what brand you're getting. But because uh, there are other brands out there. Definitely something you're going to want to have. I think uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over doing a couple of faces on a walking stick using some power and then mixing our hand tools walking sticks are always great to know we're going back to our typhoon bits here that one stick that i had just showed you how to use the kutzel disc right the big burr on the four inch grinder i cleaned off most of the bark and now put a couple of dents to start a face and what we're going to do is we're going to carve a couple of faces down a walking stick using power. We're going to rough them out first and then we'll clean them up and that'll be the next video. Again, we get your Typhoon Burr, the flame shape, and we're going to start roughing him out. All I did was put a groove going across here first. Okay. like that and then I came down the center here to separate those eyebrows right okay. and there we're gonna just dig out the sides of the nose and down one side and come down the other side and we're going to shake the bottom of the nose. You can get a pencil and draw it on if you like. I'm just going to wing it. Make sure you're deep enough. Okay. And he's already half shaped out. And we're going to go around the hairline, stop this, and go to the next part. All up about here. So what I did is after I came down on the side, down on the side, I just rounded that up and in. All right, we're going to clean that up a little bit more as we go, try and give you different angles. And then we're going to do a couple of faces. We're going to put the mustache and everything in, make some hair, everything will go all the way down the stick, make ourselves a nice little walking stick. Now what I'm going to do is get a pencil and I'm going to mark off 
so you guys can see anyway where I want the mustache. So it's just all about personal preference, really. I'm going to probably make this guy a little big. Bring it down like that, I guess. And the idea when you're doing a stick like this is to make every face a little different. That right there will be about good. All we're doing is shape them right now. And then we can get in there and really clean them up with the chisels and ice. But for right now, I'm just shaping. So I'm going to take some of the draw lines out that I just made and we'll shape his mustache. We'll go underneath. that up out of the wood on the outside and on the inside. All I'm doing there is following the outline of my pencil line. Okay? But the key here is to round everything over this way and definitely make sure that the underneath the mustache is lower than up here and that'll give you your shadows and everything okay so i'm going to take that down a little you want that lower So we rounded them off, got rid of the pencil lines, took it out on the, took them down on the outside of the mustache, went underneath, undercut here on the inside, and then dropped below the mustache lower so that the mustache stands out. Okay, so this right here is pretty much the basics of our first face. We can start hair up in here, and we'll do that, and start cleaning them up with uh, a little more detail. Okay, I'm going to try and give you an angle from this side, right, because I want to get this hairline right here. We're going to try and dig that in a little more, and then bring his cheek in about here, and the same on this side. Give you a side angle here, but we're trying to dig this in a little more before we actually start the hair, or at least where we want to put it, all right? So make sure the two sides are fairly symmetrical. If they're a little off, it doesn't matter, but you're trying to get this cheek here, and this cheek here to be about even, as even as you can. He's set funky on the board, so mine's probably going to be a little odd. Up in here, we can dig this out, or we can just give him hair from there. I'm thinking of giving him a little bit of hair, so his forehead doesn't look so big. So I might do something like this. And uh, we'll show you what, what I'm going to do there. I take, still using the same burr, by the way. And we'll come over here, the top here. And cut a line out for hair. Then I'm going to come up here. Take this in a little more. Right down. Form that piece.
Okay, so I left a nice tuft of hair up here I can work with later. And like I said, you're trying to keep the face symmetrical. So try and keep where these shadows are here. Keep those pretty even across, like pretty much like around. I got mine a little under the nose, so that's where they stop. Okay. And then it's just a matter of digging the top out to make that hair pop out, like so. stands out now. I'm going to neglect to clean them up as you go. That's all I'm doing here is I'm taking those little dents on the insides out. I'm going to round up everything so we can do the next step. Keep it the easier it is to go around and see what you got next. I'm going to clean up the pencil line up there to try and get that hair shaped a little better. Just play with it yourself. Beer hair flowing off of this thing. Just a couple of lines like that. So I did this come down, go on the inside, meet, come down, start another one here and meet. Right here, I got to dig out a little bit more and then bring this over and meet it. So you get those points at the bottom. Let me clean them up a little. And you can see how the beard has started. Now, after we get to this phase, we can come down here and start another phase, and hopefully we can make that one a little different. Now, remember, these are the techniques if you're using power and you want to make a lot of things fast. I always go pretty much with my Typhoon Burr here, all right, uh, flame-shaped, to pretty much draw <clears throat> on the wood. So, whenever you want to make a lot of things fast, no matter how hard the wood is, you get a couple of these typhoon burrs, you're really going to be in heaven compared to just whacking everything out with chisels. So I use those at the end to put all my detail on, even after I do a little bit with some of these. So I really highly recommend looking into those burrs. You can get them all different sizes, make a collection of them, you're going to use them a lot. All right, Save you a lot, ton of work. All right, we're going to start another face down here, and we're going to blend all this together, but you see how quick they make, so you might as well put a couple on, make your stick worth more money, all right? Usually what I'm going to do is start with another hairline. I can flow all this in later, but for now, I just want to get a couple of faces, so I'm just going to do this. Give myself a nice little hairline line there with my pencil. On one side. Take it out. And just move it over. Now watch how quick this face is going to form. Straight across with an eye line. Then come straight down the center. Alright. So 
not so straight in my line, but. Okay. Make a triangle for a nose to start. Try and keep it fairly symmetrical. To make it bigger or smaller than the last one isn't going to matter. We can mess with them later. Right now we're just roughing out. Right down the Clean it up. Put some wood out under the nose. Make sure all the bumps are off your forehead. Okay, now we can get our pencil back out, see how we want to make this guy different. Maybe we'll make him a little bit more smiley or something. We'll give him cheeks that come up here. Like so, one here. Like so, and maybe the mustache will give him a smaller mustache, say. Right, and that's just all a matter of grinding that out. You want to go from the inside though here, so this stands out on the side. So take it from the inside. So this guy's going to be a little bit different, but it doesn't take long to get an idea of what your stick's going to look like. The top face, bottom face, we can shake that out. Okay, on the second face, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're just going to draw a little lip underneath the mustache here. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a little big because we can always take it down so you guys can see it. That's all I'm going to do is put a little line there. Now go to my bit. Okay. Again, this is the flame shape typhoon. I can't stress that enough. We're just going to take that, go right on the line and carve right on the line, and then we're going to take wood out from underneath it to make it stand out. Try and take a little more wood out so it stands out better. Right 
up in here where the eyes are, we're going to come from the side and go right across and dig them into those corners. Move the cheeks into it. And that's how you start a bottom lip. And we'll put a couple of lines for the beard and we'll make that a little different than the last one. Make sure those cheeks are in here. And that right there is where we're going to put our hair. Kind of keep other dimensions. This right here we'll probably just cut straight across like that. And then shape that up. But the beard we're going to make sweep down on this one like this. Just give them a couple of flow lines here. Give you an idea. And then we'll cut those in with the Fordham. Okay, let's take these beard beard lines and dig those out. I do these, I like to go down one side of the line, go down the other side and make it come to a point at the bottom, for this type of beard anyway, right? And I'm going to do that all the way around. Still keeping my dimensions. And we're going to take this line straight across at the top, separate those eyebrows a little more. shaping up pretty good now we can work on putting a little more detail in and we'll go up to the other one end and do uh, some beard hair okay we're back on the first face on the stick what I'm gonna do whoops, I'm gonna round those eyebrows off just like we did on the last one just kind of sweep them in towards the nose usually take your tool and you round from here in outside and down and then we're gonna put a couple more flow lines in the beard here and then we're gonna take the sides over here and we're gonna put some lines so the hair kind of sweeps down up over there you can also add another little line or two for the hair at the top but he needs a little more beard hair to start to clean him up on the top a little more okay so get your tool out Start underneath the mustache here. Right, 
up in here, we're going to do the same thing from here over around those eyebrows. Here. Flatten the head out up under the hairline. So it all blends together. I'm going to get another line or two up here. That'll give that a little more dimension when we run a chisel through it. Okay, first one shaped out pretty good. Second one, we know where we're going with that. A little bit more hair we're going to get in there. Try a different camera angle. And we could start our third face down here. Let's uh, sand these up a little bit, and then we'll do some gouge work to make them pop. Okay, I went back up to the top face. And what I'm going to do is run my V-tool under the eyelids for a second. I like to do that in the beginning before I try to do anything else. So I'm just getting my V-tool out here. Uh, you can use a mallet for this too if you want. Uh, it depends on the wood. And I like to just tap that in. Just to get a little harder line. That. About like that. I'm going to take a micro gouge. Right? This right here has a pretty good sweep on it. Nice little scooper. I'm going to come up to the corners of the eyes. See if I can zoom in on that. So you can see that. About there, I guess. And we're going to try and take the corners out, okay, to get it deeper by the nose here, just like that. Scoop, and scoop. And dig in the sides of that, those sockets pretty good, make them deep. Clean that up a little bit with other tools later. Right now we're just going for a little bit of depth there. Okay. I'm going to do the same on this side. Going right up by the nose. Just trying to scoop some wood out of there. Okay. That will start rounding everything. Getting us some depth in, by the, in the corners of the nose, okay? I just like to take wood out right in there. Anyway, you gotta do it. Like I say, we can use other tools. Sometimes I like to deepen those just with a little micro gouge. Don't mind my arm there. Yeah, and once those are deep, we have a lot more possibility of rounding off an eyeball okay I'm gonna come over to the other side here I'm gonna do the same thing about here take a little bit of wood out right there and a little bit over on this side like so okay now I'm gonna come underneath that and on this side try to get you so you can see it right up in the nose like that 
Okay, so you can see how I'm starting to shape around this in here. It's not quite round yet, but it will be once I get my knife in there. Okay. And I'm going to just round all that off. Clean it up. Basically what I'm doing is leaving a mound in there that I can shape later. angle but you get the idea okay so now we have more depth in there and just ran up the sides of the nose with that little micro down now you can take a smaller gouge and clean that up on the top Both sides. So. Bring that up with the knife. So once you have that depth in the corners, it's easy to start getting places where you can do these mounds. Okay, it'll shape it out almost all the way for you, and then it's just a matter of cleaning it. All right. Okay, now going back to the knife, what I'm going to do is come over in the corner here. I'm going to dig my knife in. Okay, just like that. I'm going to dig it in at an angle. Dig it in at an angle here. Okay, then I'm going to take that chip out. It doesn't come out first time, just cut those angles again. Try and pop that chip out. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna cut a little angle. One, cut a little angle here. Two. Try and pop that chip out. Okay, now we're starting to round off a little. We're gonna do the same over here. And before I do, I'm going to shake this just a little bit more. Just to round off a little. And then the chips will really help round it off. So, one in the corner. And one right here in this corner. Making a V. Slicing it up and then popping it out. Okay, good. So now we have that side, we gotta get to this side. We're coming right across, going in the corner. Coming in the corner here. Basically making a V and then taking the very corner of that V out. We've done eyes on all the other videos. Plus there's a lot of YouTube help on the eyes. On my other videos. Make sure you can check those out too. I'm just going to round all this over. This one I'm not making anything super fancy. You never know what kind of wood you're dealing with with these sticks. Easy to give me a little bit of a time. So I'm just going to round it over and try and come up with a decent eye out of it. Rounding it down and towards the corners. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on this guy down here. So we're going to drop the camera down and do that one. OK. 
okay hopefully we're in good enough so you can see pretty okay in the camera I'm gonna come over here and try and get a little bit out by the nose Trying to take wood out just a little bit. And the same on this side here. There's some tough wood here. And then a little bit there. Sometimes it just helps to scoop right by the nose. Get your tool in there and scoop a little divot out. Okay. Sometimes that works best. So we get some depth in by the nose. We're gonna run the knife across. Again, you could do it with your V tool too. In the corner and across. Take that little bit out. Something to stop when we put those eyes in. Start a lid. Okay. You can do it with your knife or your V-tool. Sometimes you need a second pass to get to where you want here. Put a nice stop cut up there and take some wood out from underneath it. Okay. Like that. Gonna take some of the wood on the bottom going back to the gouge. Take some wood out, about as big as you want that eyeball to be, I guess. Go right up under that lid, make sure you don't break it, and right up under that lid. Okay. This will allow you to be able to shape that eyeball. And that's what we want. We want to be able to shape the eyeball. Take the knife again, go in the corner, go in the corner. Pop the chip. And the same on this side, go in the corner. Go in the corner. Pop the chip. Left side's a charm, they say. Especially when it's leaning back and trying to see out of the camera. <laughs> okay. And do it on the other side. Go in the corner this way. That way. Try and pop the chip. This side. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. that shit. Okay, now it's just a matter of going around those eyes and smoothing them. Okay. Trying to smooth them and make them round. I'm going to work on making those round. Just take your knife, go around, try and smooth from the center towards the corners. Just to give yourself a little mound to put that eyeball in. So I'm going to work on mine. Try and get these round and get these round just by messing around with my knife. You can always take more of the corners out. And then we'll come back and put pupils in. Alright, a quick tip on rounding these eyes. Is before I get rounded them I like to cut the... Take my knife and actually cut the bottom out. It's about the shape that you want. All right, I already pretty much did this one, but I'm redoing it. Then you can round into that cut. All right, it'll make for a lot smoother transaction. And then just kind of shave it from the bottom afterwards. And it'll make it nice and smooth. All right, so make sure that you take that knife and run it into that bottom lid. It's hard to do lefty here. All right. Then do your rounding from the top down into that cut. Okay. 
then you just clean it off and you'll end up with a decent rounded eye okay all right also make sure that you run your knife across the top and smooth that up and in okay that way when you put your pupil in you have something to put it up and under it's got to be able to close his eyes but they should be rounded and just clean it up a little bit with your knife we're going to hit it with a little bit of sandpaper if we need to okay that's all there is to that you find a little gouge and we'll do a pupil quick I think I'm going to use this one oh, I have my other one over here take a smaller gouge you can use a micro gouge you can even use a drill this right here is going to be the one I'm going to use see that sweep on it we're just going to take it put it a little off to the side push it right into the wood and try and get it straight in at first and then as you're twisting it kind of turn it up so it goes up and under that lid same way on this side straight in wiggle it get up and under that lid start dropping it down you have to make a second cut don't worry about it sometimes it takes a couple take our knife clean it out see what we have to adjust pop those chips out if you have to make a second sweep then that's what you do straight in wiggle kind of lower it as you're coming down straight in wiggle and then pop them out the tip of your knife there okay, that way you can get up and under if you have to recut the line on top just simply run it across with your knife like so and then shave that up and under sometimes the wood will work with you sometimes it'll give you a hard time depends on the piece you're working with can always adjust and we can always clean them up with other tools later on okay so that's how we put our pupils in and then we'll put some lines with a V tool and everything down as far as beard hair goes you want to deepen the lines I'm going to use a V tool okay here's a V tool again shaped like a V we'll zoom out a little I'm just going to run that in between what I already have carved there. Really have to adjust the angle on this board. It's too far back. But should be able to see what I'm doing fine. Anywhere you want to deepen those lines that you made with the power tool. Take that V tool and give it a couple of extra grooves, deepen the ones you already have. Now it tends to work the best doing this on hardwoods like this maple here. And that's how we're going to do the beard hair, right? even the eyebrows. around the top here. Okay. Same with under the eye then. Tap it light. Clean those up. And that's how we're going to start shaping all that. Alright, we're going to do the top set. 
Let's see what he looks like. Okay, I'm back up at the top. I'm gonna take my little gouge here and move it over to the corner. Almost to the corner. Push it straight in. And then angle it down like that. Try and get a nice little pupil hole. Same on this side. Remember, you don't want to go right in the middle. It'll look pretty goofy. Just staring straight ahead. You want to set them off to the side. On this one with the light, you might be able to see this one better. I'm going to take my knife. Dig it in. Pop that chip out. Pop that chip out over here. And then we'll redo it. Many cuts as you need to take. Get enough shadow there to make that hole. That's what you take. Okay. Trying to get up and under that lid. Okay. This one right here might need a little more just because the angle I'm trying to work at. I'm going to rerun my line on top. Try and stuff that under. Rerun a line across the top. To nice and try and push that underneath. When we get our finishing tools out, our power tools, we can really clean this up. Right. Again, round it down in the corners. There. We now have eyes. We can put a little, uh, bags under it with the V tool and some wrinkles. Extend those eyelids over a little bit by putting it here. Okay. Cleaning it up. Get an eye bag here. And we're gonna hit this with uh, some more power. Places I can't get in with the tool sometimes I use power on. A couple little character lines. And there we go. On top of the eyebrow. Turn that knee tool over and separate them pretty good. start to shape up okay same thing on here you can put grooves or not but I like to run a couple of little grooves in the mustache putting the best stick I think the wood was quite the best choice to carve. Good for a tutorial though. Okay. So that's how we're going to go around and start detailing this guy out. When you look at him from far, it's not going to look too shabby. Right? And we can run those lines all over the place. We're going to run more V-tool up in here. You know, V-tool work. You can sand it down in between. And we're just going to go all the way down the stick and make as many faces as we can. Maybe in the next face what we'll do is we'll put a little, uh, we'll touch up this bottom lip here. Right down here. And what we're going to do is 
put one more face on and maybe give that one teeth so you get to see how to do that. Okay, I'm inside for this portion because it was raining out this morning and everything's pretty wet. So, well, we drew the lines on underneath, okay. Now, what we're going to do is take our Fordham. Again, we got the Typhoon bit. And I'm just going to cut the bottom line out here, okay. Keep in the corner over here, and then side of the mustache a little. Bring it over here, then the side of the mustache. Okay. You see that okay? We are in the shop. All right. So that's all I did there. This line right here across the top, I'm going to use my V tool. And I'm going to cut that out with this. I'm just going to run the V tool across there. My hand's getting away or something, so you know. All right, that top line there. Okay, that's all I'm doing. I'm going to turn the stick around so I can reach it. Make it fairly deep. If you want, you can even run your V-tool a little under that other one. Or if you don't have a Fordham, do it with your chisel. Now I'm going to clean up the top line, uh, the sides of the mustache here with my V-tool while it's in my hand. Just to get that outline that I'm looking for. Okay, and that's all I got there now. We have a little wedge of wood up there we can make some teeth out of. <clears throat> and the only thing we're going to do in there, uh, let's shape that down with our knife a little bit first. Make sure it's nice and flat. take that down we're gonna clean up the bottom here a little sometimes that typhoon doesn't leave as smooth of a cut as you like again it's a rough out tool even though we can make a whole carving with it we do have some cleaning up to do at the end all right now to make the teeth here basically all you need is a line or two at, on this size mouth anyway okay and with him we could just give him one Two lines, we'll say. Okay. That's it. And then we're going to run a V-tool up through those. One. And two. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but see how he has teeth. Okay, now he's not super smiley, but I didn't intend him to be super smiley or super fancy for this lesson. Okay, once we clean all this up and we do the rest of the, the stick, <coughs> cutting in the corners and around those teeth and getting the teeth undercut are important. But he's going to stand out pretty good then. Okay. Now if you have any other questions on any other parts of these videos, because this one right here is pretty much almost done. Uh, I think you guys have enough techniques to just do the whole stick using the techniques we've covered in, the, in this series on, on walking sticks here. We will do another walking stick or two, I'm sure. We're going to use the same techniques for a lot of stuff. But I'm going to clean him up with my knives. Uh, not a lot of room to turn him around and stuff in the camera in the shop. But you get the idea how easy it is to make a mouth with teeth. Okay. And what I'm going to do is go all the way down the stick. We'll start another project. You guys will get to see him when he's done. But for the teaching part, I think you have enough techniques to go all the way down the rest of the stick and put different faces on. That concludes the walking stick series on how to power carve a multiple face walking stick. Okay, and that's pretty much how you do your teeth. All right, well, we're going to cover very detailed faces with uh, very detailed expressions down the road once you guys get the basics down. So that's the beginner lesson as far as putting teeth on. 
Okay, see you next video.